Welcome back. It's competition time as we continue with uh, Stebe Secondary and also St. Stephen's on my right. And ladies and gentlemen, it was a stiff competition with the last round of, of questions. St. George's College managing to defeat Naparima Boys. Boy, 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 boy. Was that a big one? Indeed. All right. Kayla is with me today. Kayla, uh, do you enjoy soca music? Yeah. Yeah? Who's your well, favorite I mean, soca artist? don't really listen to soca music that much so not a problem not a problem well soca music is a very uh, exciting genre of music and this is a very exciting <coughs> question and now let's roll with it name one way in which Trinidad and Tobago can be affected by climate change is it a formation of deserts on islands is it b invasion of different animal species is it c more intense and frequent storms and flooding or d none of the above See more intense and frequent storms and floods. That is correct. Well done, Kayla. A good start to competition here in this season climate quiz. Vanessa is up next. Vanessa, you're the head prefect. That must be a difficult job. Yes, at times. Indeed, all right. Let's hope this question is not as difficult as being the head prefect, all right? How long can humanity continue to use fossil fuels before they run out based on current rates? Is the answer A, 300 years, B, 400, C, 500, or D, 600 years? B, 400 years. That answer is correct. Well done to Vanessa. Let's move across to Sarah and your question, my dear. When was the Paris Climate Conference held? Is it A, September 2015, B, December 2015, C, November 2016, or D, December 2016? Um, B, December. 2015. Is that your final answer? Um, yes. All right, that answer is correct. B is the answer. December 2015. Move across to Chelsea and your question, Chelsea, from a day -based secondary school. Since the 1870s, how many gigatons of carbon dioxide or CO2 has been produced by human activity? Is it 0 0.1, 100, 1000, or is it 2000? C. 1,000. That answer is incorrect. I'm going to ask uh, Sarah to possibly give me a response for that. Um, 100. That answer is also incorrect. The correct answer for that is D, 2,000. We jump across to Ariane. And Ariane, what is extinction? Is it the death of the older members of a species? Is it B, the disappearance of all members of a species? Is it C, the death of, the, or of all the young species within a population? Or is it D, the creation of a new species within a population? B, the disappearance of all members of a species. That's correct, Arian. Well done. Good job. Let's go to Kanisha. And Kanisha is smiling air to air, very happy indeed. In what year was it discovered that the chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, were harmful to the atmosphere? Is it 1969? Is it 1974? Is it 1984? Or is it 1992? B, 1974. That is correct. Well done to Kanisha. Well done to Kanisha. We jump across to somebody who has a lot of faith, I understand. Her name is Faith. And uh, your question, Faith. What is the resilience of a social, economic, or environmental system? Is it A, vulnerability to external forces? B, capacity to the, of the system to make major changes? C, capacity of the system to resist major changes? Or is it D, ability of organisms to multiply quickly? C, capacity of the system to resist major changes. Yeah, I think that's correct. Well done, well done to Faith. Indeed. We jump across to Antonia. And Antonia from Bay Secondary School. In what year was the Montreal Protocol signed? Is it in 1898, 1976, is it 1987, or is it 2001? C, 1987. Yeah, that's brilliant indeed. Well done, well done. We jump across to the solitary male person in this entire team. And not a problem, brother. You have a very tight job, you know, man. <laughs> yeah, you have a very, very big job. I'm telling you that. What group of persons were identified to be the most affected by climate change issue in its sustainable development goal 13? Is the answer A, the wealthy, B, the middle class, C, the poorest, or is it D, the homeless. Um, D, the homeless. That answer is incorrect, unfortunately. I'm going to go to Nikhil. And Nikhil, my friend, you have an answer for me. 
Is the answer C, the poorest? Yes, you have five points added to your tally. Well done, yeah, indeed. I'm guessing that's a lucky guess for you. Yeah, I saw that guess came up in your face, man. I saw it, I'm like, uh, he was like, I should probably guess this one. Let's see, Nikhil, this is your official question. And this final question in the first round, as of February 2019, how many countries have signed the Paris Agreement? Is it 185? Is it 190? Is it 195? Or is it 200? D, 200. That answer is incorrect. I'm going to jump back across to Danielle. Do you have an answer for me, Danielle? Um, <coughs> C, 195. That's probably a good guess. Yeah, that is correct. Well done. C, 195. Well, folks. That's brings us, that brings us to the end of this final, uh, that final question, the first round of competition in this uh, second batch of uh, comp competitors. And certainly, we've had a great round. We just have to wait and see what the results look like. And indeed, I just want to remind you, take the opportunity to remind you, as uh, to the acronym, Seize It. What does it mean? It means the Carbon Zero Initiative of Trinidad and Tobago, a great effort indeed by a beautiful group of persons. Let's take a look at the points table and... Yeah, let's take a look at it indeed. St. Stephen's College, they're poised at 45, and Debe Secondary School, they're now at 35. We are back with the second round of competition. Thank you for sticking around. And we jump across to Kayla, who looks very interesting indeed, Kayla. Tell me, tell me, what is your favorite subject? I like physics. You like physics. Yeah. All right, what about geography? Geography is great too. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well, because this is a very geographical question. In what year did Trinidad and Tobago ratify its commitment to the Paris Agreement? Let's see, 2014, 2016, 2018, or is it D? Trinidad and Tobago has not ratified the Paris Agreement. B, 2016. That answer is incorrect. I'm going to jump across to Vanessa, player number one. C, 2018. Yes, that answer is correct. Well done to Vanessa. Good job. And your question, which sustainable development goal focuses on life below water? Is it A, goal 13? Is it B, goal 14? Is it C, goal 15? Or is it D, Goal number 16. C goal. Oh, sorry. C goal 15. That answer is incorrect. I'm going to jump back across to Kayla. Do you have a response for me? D goal 16. That answer is incorrect. The correct response for that question is B goal number 14. Let's go to Sarah. Sarah, which of the following greenhouse gases has also been banned? as an ozone depleting substance? Is it A, carbon dioxide? Is it B, chlorofluorocarbons? Is it C, sulfur hexafluoride? Or is it D, methane? D, uh, chlorofluorocarbons. Yes, that is correct. Well done. B is the answer. We go across to Chelsea. And Chelsea, who was very eager to answer the last question, by the way. Let's see if she can answer this one nonetheless. In the last 100 years, what percentage of overall warming of the planet was caused by carbon dioxide? Is it A, 75%? Is it B, 80%? How about C, 85%? Or could it be D, 90%? B, 80%. That answer is incorrect. I'm going to jump across to Sarah. Do you have a response for me, Sarah? D is 75%. That answer is correct. Five additional points to your tally. Let's go to Ariane, your official question. And let's see. Uh, through pollution, microplastics may be found in fish, shellfish, seabirds, and also sea salt. Is that true or is it false? True. That is correct. Well done. Well done. That answer is indeed true. Let's go to Kanisha. Kanisha, this is a true or false question, all right? Mm -hmm. It looks a bit simple. Hopefully, it will result that way as well. Trinidad and Tobago has unconditionally committed to reduce cumulative greenhouse gas emissions by 15% from industry power generation by 2013. Is the answer true or is it false? It is false. That is the correct answer. Yes, false indeed. A sigh of relief from Kanisha. And indeed, let's go to Faith. Yeah, Faith is smiling a lot. Name a greenhouse gas that is now being phased out under the Montreal Protocol. Is it A, hydrofluorocarbons? Is it B, sulfur dioxide? Is it C, methane? Or is it D, carbon monoxide? 
um, A. That is the correct answer. Yes, A is the answer. Let's go to Antonia. Antonia, your question is very simple. I think has a very simple answer as well. I could probably get this one right. Let's see. How is the Earth warmed? Is it the Earth's core radiates heat? Stars emit heat energy that warms the planet? Is it C, sunlight is trapped by land and water and re-emitted as heat? Or is it D, sea and land breezes carry the heat? A, the Earth's core radiates heat. Unfortunately, that is the incorrect answer. Do you have a response for me? Um, how is the Earth warm? C. That is correct. C is the answer. Let's jump across to Danielle, my solitary male partner here, enjoying the great vibes of this particular quiz. Climate change can have severe consequences for what? Is it A, daily activities? Is it B, food sources? Is it C, city infrastructure? Example, roads or buildings? Or is it all of the above? D, all of the above. Well done, my friend. Well done. Yes, that is correct. Let's go to Nickel. The all, he's also the only male on this particular team. You're not left out, brother. Get a little fist pump there. <laughs> True or false, there are 15 operating waste disposal sites in Trinidad and Tobago. True or false? False. That answer is also correct. Well done, Nickel. Well done, my brother. Let's see how the points table look. But I want to find out something from uh, Ariane. Ariane, what exactly uh, did you have to do to uh, get yourself prepared for this particular quiz? Um, well, we had to watch some videos and study, and sometimes lunchtime, so the group will study and practice asking each other questions and answering them. Was it very difficult? Somewhat, somewhat difficult. All right, well, let's see if uh, that result is uh, not difficult whatsoever. Let's look at the points table and see what the judges had to say. Uh, the total score for St. Stephen's right about now, and we're still, we're still hoping that something is going to work out fine for St. Stephen's because they took the last, the last round. And let's see if Debe Secondary can possibly overthrow them. St. Stephen's, 95. Debe Secondary, 60. We are back with the final round of competition with St. Stephen's College of Princess Town leading the way so far. And uh, Kayla, your question in this first, your first question in this last round, how many inches of land or beach is covered through every inch of sea level rise? Is it 50 to 90? Is it 40 to 100? Is it 50 to 100? Or is it 100 to 120? C, 50 to 100. That answer is correct. Well done to Kayla. Let's go across to Vanessa, who is the head prefect, all right? <laughs> if all fossil fuels on the planet are burned, how high could the ocean level rise? Is it 70 feet? Is it 80 feet? Is it 90 feet? Or is it D, more than 100 feet? D, more than 100 feet. That answer is correct. Well done. Well done. Good job. And let's move across to Sarah. And Sarah, your question is very simple. Name three everyday products in which chlorofluorocarbons are used. Is it A, petroleum aerosols and fertilizer? Is it B, canned foods, refrigerants, or paper products? Is it C, aerosols, refrigerants, plastic products? Or is it D, steel, flour, and paper products? Um, C, aerosols, refrigerants, and plastic products. Yes, that answer is correct. C is the answer. Let's switch gears and move to Chelsea. What does the Montreal Protocol encourage regarding chlorofluorocarbons? Very, very simple. Phase out of production in less, de less developed countries only. Is it B, gradual phase out by utilizing money from less developed countries? Is it C, rapid phase out using funds from more developed countries? Or is it D, none of the above? C. Rapid phase out using funds from more developed countries. That answer is correct. Well done to Chelsea. Let's move to Ariane. And Ariane, your question is like this. The ozone layer acts as the Earth's sunscreen. Approximately what percentage of ultraviolet light or UV light does it block from reaching the Earth's surface? Is it A, 70%, B, 90%, C, 95%, or D, 99%? C, 95%. 
That answer is incorrect. I'm going to jump across to player number three, Kanisha. Do you have a response for me? B. B is the correct answer. Yes. Well done. Let's get your official question up and running. What greenhouse gas has the greatest global warming potential per unit weight? Is it A, sulfur dioxide? Is it B, nitrous oxide? Is it C, sulfur hexafluoride? Or is it D, carbon monoxide? C, sulfur hexafluoride. Yes, that is the correct answer. Well done to Kanisha. Let's jump across to Faith. What material, Faith? is made from petroleum and is capable of being molded or cast into various shapes is it a cloth b plastic c glass or d paper b plastic yeah very simple answer right yes that's correct let's see how things unfold antonia research has found that 883 million people live in slums today most of them are found in which regions is it A, the Caribbean, B, Eastern and Southeastern Asia, C, Africa, or is the answer D, North and South America? C, Africa. That answer is incorrect, unfortunately, Antonia. Let's go to Faith. Do you have a response for me, Faith? B, Eastern and Southeastern Asia. That answer is correct, yes. B, Eastern and Southeastern Asia. Daniel, my friend. It's all over if you do not answer this question. No, I'm just kidding, brother. I'm just kidding. No pressure whatsoever. In what year was Tobago's Studley Park landfill constructed? Is it 1948? Is it 1952? Is it 1983? Or is it 1984? D, 1984. That is the correct response. 1984 is the correct response. Nickel, you're up next, my friend. Take a big sigh, big deep breath, and let's get this done. What is What was Trinidad and Tobago's 2014 world ranking for countries with the highest carbon dioxide emissions per capita? Is it first, second, third, or D, fourth? D, fourth. Yes, that's correct. Well done. Well done indeed to Nickel. And as the judges tally up their points, I just want to ask uh, Debe, and I'm going to ask Kanisha, uh, what exactly did it take to prepare for this particular quiz? Well, basically, we sat together as a group, a study group, and we had all the information, such as the study guide to look from, and also the videos. So we actually had phone calls after school <laughs> to kind of piece together everything and make sure everyone understood everything. Very cool. I'm going to jump uh, backwards to Vanessa. Vanessa, as the head prefect, what initiative did Davy High School take in, uh, in preventing pollution in, in Trinidad, and of course, in South Trinidad, where your school is located? Well, so far we have implemented um, the Go Green uh, plastic bottle bin, so that therefore is reducing our pollution so far. Lovely. Congratulations to you and Debe for that initiative and of course to all other schools seeking this sort of initiative. Let's see what the points table has to offer. And Debe Secondary School, they are 105. St. Stephen's College, 140. Congratulations to St. Stephen's College winning this battle quite convincingly and at this point this is where things get very interesting because i'm going to invite the alternate players for both teams to come up as well and also uh, the founder of seize it mr donald baldeusing to please join me on set and he's going to be telling you a lot more about seize it and also offering some words of congratulations to both teams indeed thank you very much mr ramsberg i want to congratulate both teams for a hard fought battle I want to thank you all for participating and for being part of the CZIT National Network of Climate Change Ambassadors. I want to encourage you also to take part in the next competition, which is the Environmental Project, and that will be judged on social media. You've done very well in getting to this point. Congratulations to St. Stevens for coming out victorious today, and congratulations to Dave for fighting a very, very good fight. Uh, we have some tokens to pass to you. So thank you very much for being part of the competition. There's a surprise inside of it. <laughs> well done, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you and well done. St. Stevens is smiling all the way. That's good. Very well done. Good. 
it has fruits in the tea. Well done, that guy. Congratulations to St. Stephen's College on being victors today. And unfortunately, Debbie Secondary you came second, but good luck in your social media campaign. That's all we have for today on behalf of the entire production team. And seize it. Thank you for watching. I'm Sachin Ramsubag. Catch you next time. Bye bye.